Hang on. Gonna try something. Ooh, this sucker corners like it's on rails. Here we go. Hold on. Are you dizzy yet? Yes. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Today we're exploring the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and surrounding area. A little about the park. On September 2, 1940, Franklin D. Roosevelt dedicated the Great Smoky Mountains National Park for the permanent enjoyment of the people. The Smoky Mountains are known for its diversity of plant and animal life, the beauty of the mountains, and what remains of the Southern Appalachian mountain culture. This is America's most visited national park and it's only two hours from Chattanooga so it's a nice place to go for a weekend trip just to get away. There's hiking, camping, waterfalls, and always activities going on in the mountains. Certain times of the year the park gets very crowded. There's a two-lane road going in and out of the park and there is not many areas available for passing although some vehicles think double lines means take a chance. There are pullovers for hiking trails and scenic overlooks, and the further up in the mountains you get, the less people there are, but if you go in the fall time, be prepared for bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic all the way through. Also, be on the lookout for wildlife because there is plenty of it in the Smokies. We went on the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad. We took the Nantahala Gorge excursion. This is a four and a half hour round trip. It leaves Bryson City, North Carolina Depot and carries you 44 miles to the Nantahala Gorge and back to Bryson City. There were a few scenic spots along the way, but for the most part, it was hills covered in kudzu. I guess I expected more photo opportunities since it was advertised as a scenic railway. I guess I was wanting more scenery instead of the whole ride on a train experience. Here are some photos from the trip. The old house dates back to the Civil War era. They did serve a pretty good barbecue sandwich and chips for lunch though. We spent a few hours in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We went up the Space Needle. It's a 407 foot observation tower that overlooks downtown Gatlinburg and the Smoky Mountains. There's a glass elevator that goes up. Kim does have issues with heights, so the fact that she agreed to do this was amazing. I figured I was on my own, but she conquered her fears. This trip was a year after the fires hit Gatlinburg, so you can see the buildings were just being rebuilt and the burnt trees. We walked around a few shops and then headed back to Pigeon Forge. We were staying right outside Pigeon Forge in Sevierville at the Wyndham Resort. In Pigeon Forge we took in a few shows and the Titanic Museum and they were all great. We also had breakfast at the Old Mill Restaurant which was awesome country cooking. I got a big bag of fresh ground grits at the Old Mill. They have been doing stone ground grits with water power of the Little Pigeon River since 1830 and today the old mill is one of the oldest continually operating grits mills in the country and one of the most photographed mills in America. Well that concludes our trip to the Smoky Mountains. If you're looking for lots of activities then Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg both have plenty. They have shows, museums, and something for everyone. Gallenberg has a nice aquarium where you walk through the glass tunnel with sharks all around. If you're looking to spend some time in nature, then get deep into the Smoky Mountains and explore the hiking and camping. This is a very large national park and we still haven't seen it all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we hope you join us next time as we continue recording history one road trip at a time.